everybody welcome to my channel pretty aura here i'm here to do your emergency room reading what needs to be addressed immediately what cannot wait um for those of you who have been asking me the pretty aura wash is back in stock you guys it is the most popular bath so you guys want to get it while it's hot okay also i have the cord cutting bath somebody just ordered six baths all right you guys i really want y'all and thank you thank you thank you thank you to that person um thank you to everybody right but um i'm just saying that to say while these baths are in stock please get them because it's like as soon as they go out of stock people be like what <laughs> make new make new all right so there i, I did so um you guys want to take advantage of that if you're looking um for and that'll be in the description box my website where you can find these things if you're interested in my uncrossing and blockage removal candles the halo and the love and attraction is sold out but i do have the others okay they are available on the site as well all right did i touch on everything okay a lot of the times you guys we have spiritual issues that manifest themselves here on a 3d as mental and physical issues so i'm here to bridge that gap with this reading i will be making suggestions on how you can attack these issues head on and as they need to be um tended to immediately okay hits the emergency room um if you guys have any suggestions for anybody else please um say things because sometimes like after i do the reading i'm like oh i could have suggested that but it's like it's what's on the top of uh, what's at the top of my mind you know like off the top of my head so you know please fill in for me you guys <laughs> um for my people who um who are who know you know about a specific um area or situation um are knowledgeable in that area where they can help others all right you guys so you're watching this video if you are a pisces sun moon rising venus and you're also watching this video if you're looking for answers in reference to a pisces sun moon rising venus somebody okay you guys really need to change your diet i feel like there's some physical ailments that are going on um definitely changing your diet like i feel like it's cliche um for for somebody to say that like in one of the other videos i had to tell someone to drink water but i should have said you're dehydrated all right that's a red flag okay um red flag okay so change your diet red flag it's like you need to do it right now please okay and this is your body speaking <laughs> all right somebody needs to deal um you know will benefit from dealing with lavender okay or calming herbs herbs that that calm your nerves okay and your mind you could even uh take it as a tea okay there's somebody somebody would benefit from spiritual baths and putting camphor in your spiritual bath i just heard white flowers as well so some of y'all especially since this is in a mental position some of y'all could benefit from um a head wash okay which is a white bath um I have one available. If you email me, I have it available. It's not on the site, but because somebody um had ordered from me before, I had put them, I had sold them and they're all sold out, but I have one left. Um I was going to wind up using it for myself cuz I didn't put it on the site, but if this is you and you know you feel like you could benefit from it, send me an email, okay? It's in my refrigerator right now. Um, but there's only one. All right, you guys. Yeah, I do feel like somebody's breaking free from a situation and healing from a situation, um, but could use some um, help mentally to push them. Okay. You guys are breaking free. That's the energy of the checkmate candle. All right. Breaking free from mental. Could be mental manipulation. All right. Look at that. No place like home. I feel like you guys are now joining your guides, able to hear your guides again, especially since you have the third eye and embrace in the spiritual position. I feel like you guys are channeling. OK, your guides. Um, I feel like somebody may have did something or you may have done something to um, break you off from the connection that you had with your guides. OK, to keep that connection, you guys want to be um, praying. And if you have altars, feeding them. OK. Or creating one, all right? Always maintaining your spiritual connection to your guides. The halo does just that, okay? But it is sold out. But the halo uncrossing candle deals with angelic guidance as well, okay? It's about hearing your guides and, 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 and understanding them and interpreting the messages properly, okay? Um, Somebody is moving. You could be moving, Snails or seashells could be of significance here, but somebody could be moving. I just heard Yemeya, but some 
goddess yeah y'all let me give her her her, her respects and put some respect on her name okay mother goddess yeah y'all all right put some respect on her name <laughs> all right um, so, uh, again, somebody could be breaking free from something that got to do with their mother as well, okay? Somebody could be leaving their parents' home. Somebody could be leaving ideologies uh, in the past as well because that's been a reoccurring theme um, in these readings. Somebody could be, um, yeah, I feel, I feel like, um, oh, damn, somebody was in jail too. Somebody could have been in jail and now they're coming home as well, as well, as well. Hangman in reverse. Yeah, I feel like you guys were in some type of stalled energy, okay? In some type of stalled energy. Oh, uh, they saying that, um, yeah, somebody was dealing with some kind of witch or warlock or something like that. It was under their spell or something. This is a, 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 okay. This person, whoever was doing this, if this was done to you, all right, somebody was under some type of mental stronghold from a person or a, a, a religious group, put it like that, that is less than positive, okay? Okay, that's what I'm gonna say. Less than positive, okay? I'm working on my communication. Because <laughs> I was about to say something else. Somebody is having problems with their blood pressure and may need to elevate their feet. Yeah, there's physical ailments here that I'm picking up. Surrender your fear of change. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. I have faith that all is well. I have faith that all is well. Somebody's dealing with some health issues, okay? I feel the need to tell you everything is going to be fine. I feel like you just need to uh, change your diet and also have faith, okay? Like, if you got to be, like, if it got to be blind faith and you got to be damn near delusional, I feel like that's going to help you. Because there's some reason why I feel like somebody's trying to be, trying to project some type of worry on you when it's not even that serious and there's just, like, one thing that you're doing wrong. Like, you can't eat that. It may be salt, right? Because I feel like, yeah. Pay attention, y'all. Okay? Because I feel like it's one thing like significant detail that you're missing and 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 it's it's causing anxiety but you don't but you don't you don't have to be anxious look at all the all the things that you may be if, if it helps you and serves you to write down everything that you're eating or doing and then correlate that to your symptoms do that please because you're gonna find um the issue you just gotta stop and and, and assess it okay because there's a lot of fearful fearful things. And also, somebody may be fearful of being on their own, whether it be relationship, whether it be in their new home, or leaving a certain structure, okay? Could be ideas, thoughts, a person, a place, a house, whatever. It's like some uh, uh, a fearful energy of being alone after that, or what do I do after that? Everything is fine. Have faith that all is well. Somebody moving to California. Or Arizona, somewhere west. Yeah. Come out of this regretful energy. Come out of this regretful energy. Yeah, and you see what I'm saying? There's somebody trying to pull you down. You see this? Somebody's trying to pull you down, okay, as you leave. But the only way this person is going to pull you down is if you keep staying in that, in that five of cups energy. If you get moving, this person wouldn't be able to pull you down. Move, okay? Love y'all. In the spiritual position, you guys have third eye and embrace. You guys are channeling, okay? I feel like you are now connected to your guides and you're listening, okay? The lotus flower um, is significant here. Some of you guys could be um, working with the energy of um, Hindu deities, okay? You have the thinker here. 
Mahalakshmi, Mama, Goddess Lakshmi. Let me put some respect on her name as well. All right. We have the thinker here. Okay. So you guys are, are, are receiving downloads. Okay. You guys are connected now is what I feel. Whereas before you were disconnected, you're connected now. You're going to be needing to listen to um, the next steps that you need to take, especially as it pertains to your spirituality. All right. We have the Ten of Coins in reverse and the Eight of Swords in reverse. I feel like, okay, again, and then we have the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. There's actions that need, need to be taken. With the Ten of Coins in reverse, I feel like you see how there is a family structure here. I feel like you guys were um, disconnected from your ancestral guides. And now with the Eight of Swords in reverse, because you were in a bind, it feels like somebody tried to do some type of binding spell on you because they know that you're spiritually gifted. Okay. And somebody probably tried to bind you from a gift. All right. Invest in your spirituality. Okay. Whatever that means. Does that, if that means you have to buy, um, somebody needs to buy a paintbrush. That's how you connect like, uh, you know, with your guides and it also um flows into your artistry okay some of you guys need to write down things and keep a dream journal okay there's something connected to a tool that you guys need to invest in okay that has to do with your spirituality if you see a salt lamp for somebody you need a salt lamp i don't know where that came from okay you need a salt lamp for somebody for somebody you need a, to take salt baths okay please um do Invest in something that's going to help you, okay, spiritually. Somebody needs to put a knife under their pillow or sleeps with a knife under their pillow um, or needs to cut cords with the cord cutting bath, okay? I could suggest that as well. Some black obsidian would, and black tourmaline would be, and also amethyst would help you as well, all right? To protect you from anybody trying to, you know, bind you from your third eye, again all right also the checkmate candle helps with that all right also working with your third eye helps with that you can play third eye vibrations or binaural beats or um frequencies as you sleep okay look at that surrender to your intuition what did i say tune into your inner voice be aware of any gut feelings, flashings, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. Somebody was trying to stop you from that or something you did could have stopped you from that, all right? Surrender obsessive thinking. If you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve a problem. Uh, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Some of you guys need to, like I said, change your diet and also eat fruits and vegetables. I don't care how cliche it sounds. This is your health. <laughs> All right? I'm dead ass serious. Eat fruits and vegetables. Change your diet, y'all. It's something you eating or something you doing that, that is not clicking with your body. What did I just say? Vegetarian. What did I just tell y'all? I could feel it, okay? Well, it is my job to feel it. I'm acting like I did something special. I feel like one of those magicians that do a trick and they amaze their own self. Like, yeah, I told you I was a magician. It's like, yeah, we know. All right. You're psychic. We know. A new way of eating gives you more energy, greater health, clarity, and stronger manifestation abilities, y'all. Y'all got to change y'all diet. Some of y'all, y'all need to stop having sex with certain people. I feel a succubus energy around you. And that could be why you're drained as well. Somebody around you, you got to stop having sex with certain people. Like they're, they're like, I feel like their energy, it, it just don't mesh well with yours. Okay. You feel drained. Stop having sex. Abstain. Okay. Abstain. What you've asked for is coming true. You guys. So what you've asked for is coming true. All right. I do feel a, like I said, a, a break from a stronghold. With the star in reverse, I feel like I'm wishing on a star. At first, I guess you guys um were feeling like this wish wasn't gonna come true with the star in reverse, but it is. Okay, it just you just need to heal first. Somebody else had that healing from this, and you breaking free healing. This your your wish is 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 coming up next. Okay, yeah, with this Knight of Cups energy, 
Somebody got an ancestor that's tra that traveled far and wide, okay? The eagle is of significance here. Um, or the hawk, okay? It could be Native American um, ancestry, but your, your ancestors came a long way to give you this, okay? Be appreciative of whatever it is. It feels big, all right? Um, physical, okay? Like I said, you guys really need to be um, changing your diet, exercising, all right? Somebody is like a, like a, like a fighter, okay? Or is healing from some type of fight, all right? Could be having to do with your mother, okay? This fight, we, we have two energies that deal with maternal, maternal figures, Okay? Yeah, with the yin energy, your body needs nourishment. Please, you guys, your body needs nourishment. Water, all the things that self-care has to offer, spiritual baths, all of that. Somebody needs to do a full moon spiritual bath, okay? That's why the, I, I sink my baths with the energy of the moon, okay? Please take advantage of that, you guys. Yeah, look at that. Treasure Island, okay? You guys need needs are, are going to benefit from taking care of your body, investing in that, whatever it is. For some reason, I feel like taking care of yourself in this predic predicament or this particular situation, taking care of yourself physically and spiritually, it, it has some type of connection, okay? That's why this, this reading is to bridge that gap. Somebody, I just... I just heard broccoli, but in particular, I don't know. It could be asparagus. Somebody may be having some urinary issues. Okay? Drink more water, spring water, maybe even alkaline water. Yeah, is what I'm getting. All right. Thank y'all. All right, you guys. I hope that helped. Let me get one more for the physical. Yeah, with the with the see with the yin. Somebody may be suffering from like having dry um genitals, okay? And it's a woman. But the thing about it is, it's because you're sleeping with the wrong kind of people. And that has a lot to do with what I said about your physical tying into the spiritual. That succubus, that incubus energy, like us women, even men too, okay? Have to watch with who we're sleeping with. Because sometimes you run into like a zombie. Like people that's low vibrational. And you think that you trying to have a little fun, but then you deplete yourself of energy, Okay, so love on yourself, self care, and that has and that has a lot to do with abstaining. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that. They showing me. <laughs> look at that. They showing me opening up that box. All right, opening up your box. Okay, and depleting yourself of all that energy. Close the box. Okay, <laughs> just for a little while while you um while you re up. You understand what I'm saying? While you replenish yourself. Surrender comparisons with other people. Keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strengths, attractiveness, and power, okay? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. There needs to be self-care. You need to be focusing on yourself. With the Hierophant energy here, I feel like, like I say, okay, the spirituality, um, the card that deals with spirituality is in a physical position okay so that's why i said this is a spiritual issue that's manifesting itself as a physical issue all right so you guys really need to um invest in okay your spiritual health and your physical health it's going it's going to manifest itself beautifully okay when you tie those two things together right this is going to help you with your healing yeah Temperance in reverse. Somebody needs to stop drinking. Also, um, uh, be very patient and drink water, okay? Love on yourself, you guys. There's something you're forgetting about yourself. If you have to write down something that you're, what you eat and what you're doing every day and then go back and assess it and see where you went wrong, okay? And, and sync it with your symptoms, okay? There's something missing, all right, you guys? I hope that helped.